The Bellowback made the cut as one of the 21 returning machines found in Horizon Forbidden West, and I am so glad that it did. However, these unique machines should be approached with caution, especially on higher difficulties. But defeating them can afford you some much needed resources. I'm Noxious, and in this installment of Machine Spotlights, I will be covering everything you need to know about the Bellowback, including its locations, strengths and weaknesses, combat strategies, and more. So what is a Bellowback? The Bellowback is one of the larger midweight machines you'll encounter on your journey. Its design is strikingly similar to the Thunderjaw, resembling a bipedal dinosaur lacking arms. The Slaughter Spine almost ended up looking similar as well as seen in early concept art. The long snout of the Bellowback has led many to believe its design is based on a Baryonyx. It has one of the most unique and iconic designs in the game thanks to its large, bulbous, almost disproportionate cargo container on its back. Being a member of the transport class of machines, its primary purpose is to use this container to transport resources, specifically blaze, metal bite, and chill water. This container is also the source of its valuable sack webbing. This makes the Bellowback a prime target for humans, which is why it can almost always be found being escorted by recon and or combat class machines. The Bellowback can also use these resources to power its own deadly elemental attacks unique to each variant. Bellowbacks can be found at five marked machine sites as well as some unmarked sites. The first marked site is located in the Dry Yearn just north of Camp Nowhere. This is one of my favorite locations in the game. You can find some frost bellowbacks here alongside a herd of fire fanghorns. The second site is a bellowback convoy which can be found roaming the southwest corner of the Las Vegas desert. This convoy is comprised of one to two bellowbacks as well as a few burrowers. The third site is located in the tree-covered cliffs just southwest of the Tanakh capital, the Memorial Grove. Here you can typically find two acid bellowbacks as well as some red-eye watchers. The fourth site is located in the Shearside Mountains just west of Shearside Climb. Here you can find one to two fire bellowbacks with no other machines in the vicinity. The fifth and final marked site is located in the cliffs just north of Raintrace Rise. Here you can find one to two fire bellowbacks with a nearby Clostrider site. One unmarked site is located just north of the first marked site in the Dry Yearn. Here you can find a single frost bellowback as well as a single ravager. There are a plethora of randomly spawning unmarked bellowback sites in the cliffs of the Cry Peninsula. Here you can see just one of these numerous sites in Tilda's backyard. Next, let's take a look at the machine catalog entry for the Bellowback, starting with the Fire Bellowback. Fire Bellowback, a level 18 transport midweight machine, a medium-sized transport machine that carries large quantities of volatile liquid on its back which it uses for its fire attacks to create areas of residual damage. It is weak versus frost damage and strong versus fire damage. Notable loot includes metal shards, blaze, medium machine core, Bellowback circulator, machine muscle, Bellowback primary nerve, braided wire, metal bone, and sturdy hard plate. Let's next review the catalog entry for the Acid Bellowback, my personal favorite. Acid Bellowback, a level 18 transport midweight machine, a medium-sized transport machine that carries large quantities of volatile liquid on its back which it uses for its acid attacks to create areas of residual damage. It is weak versus purge water damage and strong versus acid damage. Notable loot remains similar to the fire variant however with metal bite instead of blaze. Now on to the last regular variant, the Frost Bellowback. Frost Bellowback, a level 18 transport midweight machine, a medium-sized transport machine that carries large quantities of volatile liquid on its back which it uses for its frost attacks to create areas of residual damage. It is weak versus fire damage and strong versus frost damage. Notable loot again remains similar however with chill water instead of blaze or metal bite. Finally, let's review the machine catalog entry for the last variant of the Bellowback, the Apex Bellowback. Apex Bellowback, a level 29 transport midweight machine, a hunter-killer variant recognizable by black and gold armor plates and purple wiring. It can launch adhesive attacks and has been modified to be significantly more deadly. Quick note regarding that entry, I've concluded that this must be a typo or a tease for a future variant because I have yet to come across any variants of the Bellowback that uses adhesive. The Apex variant instead utilizes fire attacks. The Apex Bellowback cannot be overridden. It is weak versus frost damage and strong versus fire and and purge water damage. Loot remains largely similar to that of the Fire Bellowback, however with the addition of a 67% drop rate for Apex Bellowback Heart and a 51% drop rate for Volatile Sludge. 
Next, let's study the Bellowback's weak points so that we can exploit them in battle. All variants of the Bellowback share the same weak points. Three sparkers lie in the machine's stomach, acting as shock storage. These are protected by a thick metal plate, but drop down once the plate is removed. So detach the plating, then tear off to collect the resource, or shoot with a well-aimed shock arrow to detonate and inflict the shock state. The Bellowback's iconic cargo refining sack sits on the machine's back and acts as large resource storage. Destroying it triggers a large explosion and disables ranged elemental attacks. However, try your best not to destroy it. If left intact, it adds Bellowback sack webbing to the carcass, a valuable key upgrade resource. Some Bellowback spawn with antennas seemingly at random. These antennas are utilized to call in reinforcements during combat. Detach the antenna quickly to prevent this ability. Finally, the gullet is located directly underneath the Bellowback's long neck and acts as additional resource storage. Destroy it to cause a large explosion and disable ranged elemental attacks. Next, let's familiarize ourselves with the Bellowback's range of attacks. Watch out for the Bellowback's leaping faceplant attack. Dodge to avoid its ranged elemental bombs that it fires in quick succession. Dodge to the side to avoid its rapid charge attack. It rears up to use its ranged elemental blast attack. Either dodge directly away or to the side of the machine, but watch out for its close range sweeping elemental blast attacks as well. Finally, watch out for its close range tail swipe attack. Take everything you've learned in this video and you'll be taking down even Apex Bellowbacks with ease. The Bellowback can indeed be overridden, however you will first need to complete Cauldron Iota and obtain its overrides. The Bellowback override will initially come corrupted, so you will have to craft the uncorrupted override at the base using two Bellowback sack webbings and one Bellowback primary nerve. The Bellowback is an absolute beast when overridden. Check out this quick machine fight montage where I override a Bellowback in the wild and of course, set it to aggressive. Those other machines didn't stand a chance against our overridden Bellowback. Do not underestimate this beast of a machine. So what do you think of the Bellowback? Are you glad it returned for Horizon Forbidden West? Do you think we will ever see an adhesive variant like the machine catalog entry suggests? Let me know in the comments below. I love the Bellowback. It is such an awesomely designed machine. I still remember it being the first large machine I encountered when I played Horizon Zero Dawn. I definitely underestimated it then and it kicked my butt. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Horizon Forbidden West content and check out some of my other machine spotlights. As always, I'm Noxious Asp. Thanks for watching.